Hi everybody out there. I wanted to show you guys my uh, trailer that I built. This is a um, Expedition outdoor trailer. Um, the trailer was based off of a uh, Australian design called the UEV 440. Um, it looks very similar in the same appearance and functionality. I started my trailer with a build of the uh, military Hummer trailer. It's an M1101. Um, let me show you a little bit about the details about my trailer. Uh, we do have two fold down beds and a pop up top. Um, on our trailer we have a 20 pound propane tank in the front. We do use a quick disconnect system for our propane to be able to uh, attach our different appliances to the um, propane system. We have an onboard um, water system with a 23 gallon uh, storage capacity as well as a pump to run it all. On this side we have our kitchen. Uh, we have a um, kitchen slide out. We utilize the door for a uh, small propane water heater. Um, we're able to utilize uh, the water into the wash basins for washing hands and dishes. It does detach so we can use it to freshen up if we need to. Um, or we'll just spray down different things. Um, on our pullout, we have this long slide. Um, built. It's a custom pullout. Pretty much everything on the trailer is custom. You really can't go buy any of these little different things. Uh, we do have a two propane um, burner with a quick disconnect for the propane to the gas. Um, we have a three drawer system that holds our utensils, um, silverware, um, different little things for cooking. We utilize the uh, second drawer for our silver, sorry not silver, but plates and mugs. And the bottom one has our pots and pans um, that we can cook with for quick access while cooking. We have a uh, 12 volt, 110, 120 volt um, fridge and uh, utilize some good storage capacity for um, different things that you know we can cook with mainly meats and so forth um, right now it's at 35 degrees uh, we do utilize uh, an outdoor light um, at night we're able to turn this light on and off um, to light up the cooking area or the surrounding area on the side of the trailer bad boy back in. Up and to the right we have a um, pantry on the top compartment uh, with four different shelves, three different shelves um, with little, some little dividers. We're able to, to utilize um, the space much more evenly and distribute it. We've been on the road now for five days and um, so some of our supplies are diminished but um, yeah, right now we're in colorful Colorado, and uh, so we're just kind of having fun. Um, we have a small prep table here um, that we can utilize to um, for different types of prepping with cooking, a cutting board area, um, spot for drinks and snacks, that sort of thing. Sure, that comes off. This uh, whole system comes off, so when we're traveling down the road, we can, you know, not worry about it flying off. <laughs> There's that. On the back side of the trailer, we have a couple cool things. We have a high lift jack that we can utilize to help stab uh, stabilize the trailer. Um, we have two jack stands on the back. These are solid jack stands that do not. Um, lift up. You have to um, augment them with the front uh, hitch and so we lower it down and we're able to level the trailer out on a three-point system. We have a spare tire that we can utilize um, if we ever have a flat or anything like that. Doing pretty good so far. On this side we have our um, passenger side bed assembly. Um, this folds down uh, out of the side of the trailer and we use a special brace system um, that hooks onto the bottom. 
to um, hold that up. We also have a um, tent system. We use this uh, nice heavy canvas material with a Velcro um, to attach the uh, siding down. Let's take a look at the inside of the trailer. On the door itself, uh, we do have storage for uh, actually four chairs. Right now there's just two here. Um, as well as a small part for uh, sweatshirts or water bottles. As you come into the trailer, right on the left hand side, we have our low voltage, um, basically a 12 volt power center. So on the top left, we have a uh, watt meter, which tells us how much wattage and power we're pulling um, and amperage. So right now we're with the USB powering on, we're at 0.2 watts, or sorry, 2.0 watts at just a little bit over 0.5 amps. Um, on the right side, we have an integrated um, solar charge controller. And this actually, I'll show you, talk a little bit more later. Uh, we have a spot for some USB and 12 volt um, appliances. So we're able to switch between the two of those. Then we also have the uh, switches for lighting um, to be able to turn on different lights and so forth. We also have a switch for our fan. I'll show you that in a little bit. We also have two drawers on the side here, one for um, you know knickknacks, flashlights, that sort of thing. The lower drawer we utilize for toothbrushes. Um, we also have a spot for sunscreen uh, when we're out in the sun and playing around. We also have two more drawers over here that have different uh, uses and so forth for storage. Um, we also have our three bags for luggage um, and they actually fit a uh, carry-on size bag. Uh, we're able to put three small carry-on size bags into this compartment and use these straps to tie it down so when we're traveling they don't shift around too much. Let's take a look more inside. So continuing on this uh, side of the trailer, we have our pantry. Um, we were able to access our pantry from the inside of the trailer, just like we are from the outside. So we have full access. So we're able to get our snacks at night. If we need to do cooking on the interior, we can do that. Um, and just being able to, to have access and not have to go outside just to get small things is nice. Above that, uh, we have some extra storage area for things that are squishy, um, like towels, a little flashlight, um, that sort of stuff. I do have some extra lighting that we can put in um, for this side of the bed area. Um, we have a fan system, turn that on. And this uh, little 12 volt fan system helps circulate the air when it gets nice and hot. Um, Onto the beds, we have a full queen size bed um, that sleeps too very, very comfortably with a custom mattress uh, with a memory foam, two inch memory foam and two inch um, automotive foam to help uh, make it nice and cushiony. To our right, we have what are now our kids beds. And um, as you can see, it's, it fits a nice small child very, very easily. Um, we actually packed two in there. Um, beyond that, we have our windows we can open and close for ventilation. We have our kitchenette, dinette area um, right in front of that. Um, then we have this table that we can utilize for the full width. It's 54 inches by 26 inches. Um, we can actually sit six people at this small table, uh, which is great with the integrated seat in the back. Uh, underneath the seat, we do have some storage. And on underneath the, um, I guess you might call it the master bed, we have access to our fridge system. Um, so when the pantry or the kitchen is in, pushed in, we're able to access our fridge from inside the trailer. So we can get little snacks. If we need to get milk for cereal, something like that, we can do that. To the right of that, we have a small storage compartment. Right now we're utilizing that with sleeping bags, 
um, some more cold weather gear because we are here in Colorado right now um, and it does get chilly here at night. One more to the right, we have our hard goods storage. So our hard goods storage, we have a, a butane stove as well as a propane heater for inside the trailer. I have now our solar controller. Um, we do have a 160 watt solar uh, panel on top. Um, it's a nice flat solar panel. Um, and that charges our two six volt, 220 amp hour um, golf cart batteries. That are right below that area as well, in that little box. We use a battery isolator um, to help switch between our inverter and our main power source. So if we need to power 120, 110 volt, we can do that um, by switching it on. So this is our build. This is my trailer. It took a long time to build. Um, if you want more information about the build, you can go to the website that I did a build log on, which was expeditionportal.com. My username is hamthis, H-A-M-T-H-I-S. And, um, yeah, if you have more questions, put them in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching my, my great little video.